I love oxtails. They're so good. And I marinated them all night. And right now, I'm cooking them. So by tonight, they're going to be nice, tender, and delicious. And I know I shouldn't be eating them. But, you know, whether I start eating healthy today, my awareness starts today. And I'm just going to be more careful. And it's just going to get easier by the day. But I do. I'm going to document it. Am I going to be on here every day? I don't know. You know, um, this is just going to be my journey to it. If any of you want to join me on this journey, please feel free. I'm very nervous about what I'm going to do because I love vegetables. Can I eat salad every day? Probably not. And do I have cravings for me? Yes, I do. I don't I do not know as of right now how I'm going to suppress or deal with those cravings other than praying about it and praying that God kind of takes those cravings away from me um, and how I'm gonna balance my meals and how and when I'm going to eat like I have no idea how I'm gonna do this I just know it needs to be done I've prayed about it and this is where my path is leading me and I want to be there. My goal is by the end of the year, and I've had this goal since I was about 20, is to run a marathon. I've always wanted to run a marathon, you know, not like 50 miles, but I've always wanted to at least run a 10K or something. Like, I've always wanted to run a marathon, but I want to be healthy enough to be able to take that kind of rigorous training and running so my body can you know hold up to it and I want to be healthy like I'm not a bad looking chick you know I have, a, I have a nice little coke bottle shape that could be probably 10,000 times better <laughs> but it's my 39th year by the grace of God I'm 39 I will be 40 in December I don't feel it I don't act it most people don't know it and I want to continue to feel young and be young, but I believe that it's really time for me to really take control of my eating. Now, I am an emotional eater. When I get upset, I eat. Um, when I'm on my cycle that I'm going to be on in about four days, I crave chocolate. I crave fatty foods. I want chicken nuggets and... You know, I don't want to eat all that healthy. You know, I have those issues, and I'm going to be talking about those issues. I'm going to be including pictures, and I'm going to show you guys my weight and my body mass index. Because I'm probably going to be going to the gym in a little bit here to get my workout on. But I, you know, as far as working out, it's more of a stress reliever for me. Um... I get on the elliptical, I do the treadmill, I do about 45 minutes to an hour of cardio every time I go, and then I do about an hour, hour and a half of weight training every time I go, which includes abs, and then after that I get in the pool, I swim, and then I um, might get in the steam room and steam for my skin. So I do a pretty thorough workout when I do go. So I want to be healthy. Also, a part of this healthy journey is that um, I don't, I do not um, process my natural hair. My hair is natural, which means it has no chemicals in it. I have a weave on right now. You know, for I live in Houston now. I do not live in California anymore, and it's extremely humid out here. And I would look like a big poofball if I was wearing my hair out. So. My hair is natural and it's growing. I take very good care of it. But I know that changing my eating habits would probably help my hair grow a lot faster. My natural hair, which I might show you guys in the video, it's about this long right now. When I take the weave, I'll show you guys my natural hair. But today is a day of reflection and reversion and yes tonight I'm going to eat my oxtails and I'm going to eat rice and I'll probably make a little Jamaican coconut gravy and 
yeah, I'm gonna eat that tonight. I've been thinking about it for a while. I've had oxtails in my freezer for about two weeks, so yeah. But every day it's gonna get easier and easier. I just pray for guidance because I honestly do not know what I'm doing. Um, and I just want to get there. If you want to check out the video, you can go to Forks Over Knives. They have it on Netflix if you're a Netflix member um, or your DVD store. Um, you can also check it on YouTube. I believe, and don't quote me, that um, they have the movie broken up into different pieces. Um, or you can just read the material they have online. Um, it's very helpful. And I feel like if there's a cheap way for me to turn off the genes that would cause me to get cancer or cause me to be diabetic or cause me to have hypertension, then I definitely want to take advantage of that. So I ask that if you're one of my supporters that you send out a little prayer for me to keep me strong because I have a weakness like right now I could really eat a whole bag of Skittles right now right now because that's what I want um so I'm just gonna talk to you guys you know you can listen if you want to but you don't have to but if you're on the journey with me, I would love to hear your feedback. You can always shoot me a video and let me know how it's going for you. But um, I will be including some pictures in my next video. I'm going to take some pictures. I'm so dreading that. Take some full body pictures of how I'm looking right now. I ain't no skinny girl, but I ain't super huge. But um, I'm going to send you some pictures along with, like I said, my weight and my body mass index and we're just going to get started and just pray for the best so I appreciate you listening to me go on and on and on and on <laughs> um, if you have any advice for me if you're a trainer a nutritionist and you're one of my friends give me some feedback if you know I get recipes and ideas of what to cook and, and how to cook certain things for my mom. She's a great cook. She contributed toward my uh, addictions because my mom cooks great food. But um, now she's cooking more healthy, which is good too. But if you know any great recipes, any great ways to eat certain things to curb my appetite, any great releases, anything, anything that's going to help me along this way, please tell me because I could use some help and I would appreciate it. So thank you so much for listening. I am looking forward to this journey. I know it's not going to be easy, but by God's graces, it'll get easier every day. And if you'd like to join me, please join me. I will include in the info box my Facebook, my Twitter, my email. If you just want to shoot me email, if you want to join me, or if you just want to send me some words of encouragement. So thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.